what is retargeting? How do I know if it's something that I should be doing? And this is another one of those terms I'm going to try to bring out and define. I've seen this one pop up a lot. I kind of understood what it was and I have the definition here. I'll, I'll wait and I want to hear what you have to say and then I'll kind of fill in at least what, what this one says here for me. Retargeting sure. is a broad term that could refer to a lot of things. So let's touch on a couple of those things right in the beginning. Um, retargeting could be anything from, um, you know, somebody like a, a company that has an email list of everybody that they do business with and sends email, uh, follow up emails with them on an ongoing basis to continue to keep them in the, uh, their past customers informed of the current things that are going on in their company, things like that. Uh, retargeting, I think in the tone that the person asked the question is more to do with actually, um, something we can all relate to. If you go, if you're on social media or you're online and you're looking at a pair of shoes, let's say, or a belt or you name it, fill in the blank. And then all of a sudden you notice the next time you're on Instagram or you're on Facebook, that all of a sudden you start seeing ads for shoes or ads for belts or again, fill in the blank. That would be where somebody would be, um, you, you could call that retargeting, but it's actually more probably uh, an interest graph targeting. Uh, a more traditional term of retargeting would be what I would call retargeting is if you visited my uh, social media channels like Facebook, Instagram, you visited my website. And then once you visited my website, I've captured your information and I'm going to continue to put my brand and my, continue to put my product in front of you. Hence the word retargeting, like you actually got them to your website or you got them to your social media channels. One time they checked it out. You captured that information with a with, you know, a pixel on your website or just internal to the meta program. And then you've continued to show them more and more posts from you because you know that they've at least shown a partial bit of interest in you previously. So. Again, there's sort of three different ways people term retargeting. And um, the other way that I kind of mentioned second would be um, targeting somebody through an audience that says, I'm interested in targeting somebody that's interested in shoes or interested in boots or a belt or whatever. So that, again, the fact that you looked at another company's boots, uh, their ad, you're now going to start seeing ads for my company that also sells boots. That isn't, you know, technically retargeting. That's actually targeting via an interest graph. So you're actually following the fact that somebody's expressed an interest in a certain category and you're targeting them. But when most people think about retargeting, I think the thing they think about is the fact that they've exhibited some sort of behavior online by showing an interest in something. And now all of a sudden they're seeing a lot of things related to that topic. That is probably more a result of them showing an interest in something that being picked up by the interest graph and now they're seeing it. Yeah, no, I, I think the third one was what I kind of, when I first saw it, I was like, okay, that is where it kind of makes sense to me as far as if someone's visited your social page and your website, and then maybe you've created, like you said, if you have a pixel and you're collecting information and if for whatever reason you might have their email, like email marketing might be the next step to kind of hit them with, yep. Like you said, if you're trying to get them in and the way that I have it defined here is this is an advertising strategy where you target users who have previously visited your website with banner ads on various networks across the web. The aim yep. is to bring these potential customers back to your website to complete a purchase or action. So yep. it's one of those things. Obviously, that now that in addition to banner ads, I would say social as well. Um the other thing you can do that would be interesting from a retargeting is if you've collected email addresses from customers as you've done business with people, you could actually load those email addresses up into Facebook and you can run ads against that audience. So the people that are in that email list will begin seeing your ads. So it's another way you can retarget in addition to an email blast or a lot of other things. You can actually upload that list and use that as an audience that you want to show ads to. So retargeting is sort of a, a you know, an evolving word, if you will. Um, and just, I, I know a lot of people might be watching and we, we get people of all levels of, of digital marketing knowledge. So some people might be wondering what a pixel is. We've mentioned that a couple of times. 
So what Meta allows you to do on the back end of Ads Manager is create a piece of code that when somebody that has a Facebook or Instagram account visits your website, it puts them in an audience, if you will, as somebody that has visited your website. So what you do is you take this code, you have your web developer, or if you're savvy, you could potentially do it yourself. You insert that code into the back end of your website. And whenever somebody that actually visits your website that has a meta account visits your website, it will light that pixel up and put that information into an audience. That allows you to then remarket to those people. You could say, I want to remarket to the people that have visited my website. Um, you could also remark to anybody that's interacted with your Facebook profile. You can interact with some, you can remark to anybody that's in, that is interacted with your Instagram profile. Anybody that's watched any videos that you've posted. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can remark it, but a pixel specifically is uh, is referring to a piece of code that you put into your website to track people that have actually visited your website. 